So, men's final elimination two, low hand jewels. Could he do it? Could he get his first ever elimination win? We'll have to find out soon enough. We've got Pierre Mort following this, Daldor, Franz, Rakowski, Vonk, Macker, and Yakino. Obviously, Pierre Mortifon leading the Slalom X world title race coming into this event. Mattel Yakino in second, Rakowski was in third. We have lost the uh, elimination one winner from Furta. So one of these guys will be leading the rankings after two eliminations. If Mortifon was to win it, he'd be leading the rankings. He'd be leading the world rankings. He'd be leading everything. But there's some pretty tough opposition in this one. Some have nothing to lose. Here we go. 22 seconds to go. Got Tati Franz. On the black sail, easy to spot. We've got Maciek Rakowski on the Neil Pride in the middle of your picture. Jordi Vonk on the white duotone. Lohan Jewel, could he be the danger man? On the S2, Maui Sells. Mattel Yakino. I think they're all on different brands. Bang. Good start down this bottom end for Maciek Rakowski and Mateo Yakino. Both of these guys are going for it. Maciek Rakowski going for a world title. Good result in the first elimination for him. Where is Pierre Mortifon? He's right back in the pack. Jordi Vonk right in the mix here. Tati Franz is not backing down. These boys are going to go into this first mark. Absolutely neck and neck over the choppiest one in almost history but Matteo Yakino keeps his line keeps and holds on inside Matteo Yakino good job from him Matchet Rakowski in second a couple of the guys parking up at the mark remember we do have an obstacle to come Jordi Vonk has made it out alive Tati Franz down that bottom end he could be the danger man in this Matteo Yakino second in the world right now in Stardom X just ready for the sausage. Will he make a clean exit? Oh, it's a long jump. He only just made it. He only just made it, but he made it. Tati Franz gets it right. Jordi Vonk gets a little bit of it right. That's an early jump from Pierre Mortifon. What a long jump from Pierre Mortifon. Lohan Jewel comes through. But round the first mark is Matteo Yakino, followed by Matt Chetrakowski, then Tati Franz, then Jordi Vonk, then Pierre Mortifon trying to make up some ground. Out in front, though, Matteo Iacchino, the Italian. He is looking pretty good at the moment. He didn't make the first final, so he has to win here. He really has to get his world title back on track with maybe only two days of Stardom X. He won't have much time, so he can't afford any more mistakes. But Matteo Iacchino looking very comfortable in this second elimination as we come into the penultimate. Jai Mark finds a nice bit of swell. Matteo Iacchino and Matchet Rakowski is getting pushed by Tati Franz. And Tati Franz has pushed the pressure on. And Franz goes up into second place. Matchet gets back winded. And do you know who's coming through? It's Jordi Vonk and Pierre Mortifon. This could almost be world title points going down the drain for Matchet Rakowski. He was looking very comfortable in second place. He's all the way back back in six now and it's not over the pain just keeps coming for Maciek Rakowski but out in front Matteo Iacchino is going to go round the last jibe mark in first place just needs to keep it together now nothing crazy and he will be getting the second elimination win round in second place Tati Franz could he be leading after two eliminations Jordi Vonk in third place but here comes Pierre Mortifon Lohan Jewel is there Matchet Rakowski is fighting his way back in fifth and sixth place. But the one man at the front, the Italian, after a disastrous first elimination where he found himself in the runners-up final, Matteo Iacchino is about to get back on track with a win in elimination two and put that world title back in in his sights yes Mattel Yakino powering down the last reach will cross the finish line and claim the second elimination here in Fuerteventura a great race from Tati Franz in second place Jordi Vonk in third and Pierre Mortifon in fourth place so a two and a four for Mortifon Lohan Jewel will be the next to cross and then Maciek Rakowski a very close one I think over the line with the GA rider. So Tati Franz, will he now be leading this event? I think he will. I think Tati Franz will now be leading this event here in Fuerteventura Slalom X. Tati Franz was third in the first elimination and uh, he 
beat Mortifon in that, so he will be leading Slalom X after two eliminations. Jordi Vonk, fifth in the first elimination. Obviously, Pierre Mortifon was second, second and a fourth. Tai Franz will have a second and a third as we watch the replays of this race. There was a couple of scary jumps, though, weren't there? There was a couple. I mean, Pierre Mortifon took off about 20 meters before it. Just watching the recaps, obviously, of the race. This was the big one for Matchek. Oh, he's going to be reliving that because he lost probably three points, four points there. That four points could come back to haunt him towards the end of this week. He's in a world title race with this man on your screen right now and Pierre Mortifon. Third in Pozo for Matchek, second in Pozo for Matteo, and first for Mortifon. Okay, we're going straight down to the beach to get an interview with Tati Franz and Matteo Iacchino. Okay, we are going to be going to that interview. Just a few technical problems, but we'll be going straight back to it at the moment. That was the winner, um, and he's going to help his cause. Like I said, he's getting his world title bid back on track tati france second place now leading this slalom x discipline after two eliminations Jordi vonk is up there as well fourth and a third for him pierre mortifon a second and a fourth for him tati's obviously got a second and a third mateo's got a first and a ninth lohan jules trying to put his hand in the mix uh, machet rakowski a third and a sixth now so nine points for him he's still up there in the top three or four but uh, he really missed out a few points there. Okay, back down to the beat, see if we can get hold of the guys. Tati, Matteo, talk us through that race. Yeah, I, I nailed the start. I, I had a really good start at Gaston before the starting line, and I had a bigger sale now than before, so I could accelerate. A good fight on the first race with Maciek, I got a better of the inside. And then on the outside, I had a good jump. After that, I tried to control the race. Uh, the guys in the back were fighting, and. I was lucky because then I pulled away and, uh, yeah, it feels amazing. Tati, you've had two really good races now. You're leading the event, we think. I'm leading the event? Potentially. Wow! <laughs> amazing! I like it! <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. I've been, I've been sleeping, dreaming for desert arm conditions for the last um, like seven days. And then in the morning I was like, I have to do just, um, I just have to get to the one in the finals. And I'm doing my, my best, so the conditions are just, are just perfect. I'm on a small board, 6 hotel. I'm happy. I'm, su I'm super happy, I tell you. Awesome. Well, it's great to hear. Good luck in the next one and back to Ben in the studio. 